shopping with me. Your hoop is now on its way to you and I wanted to give you a short little instructional on how it works when it arrives. So you're gonna have written instructions on how to fold and unfold your travel hoop. When it comes to you, it's gonna be in this position in two small circles. So what you wanna do is identify the joints, which are the vertical taped portions of your hoop. Just go ahead and let it unfold just by grabbing on both ends and shaking it. The hoop's naturally gonna to wanna to go in a specific direction. Grab on either side of the joints on, uh, on each side and just give it a twist. And that's going to bring the hoop into a full circle. Again, you're gonna know you're ready to hoop if you can lay it on the ground and it's nice and flat. If that's not the case, just wiggle it back into full circle shape. I'm also gonna recommend that you guys store your hoop in a full circle. Don't leave it collapsed and also don't leave it in a hot car because hoops are constructed of high heat. So we wanna make sure that we're keeping it in this nice circular position. Really, you're only gonna to need to collapse it if you're planning to travel. And to do so, again, line up those vertically taped portions of the hoop. I like to balance the bottom on top of my foot. You're going to push down and twist, bringing one arm away from you and the other arm towards you to create a figure eight shape. From here, you're gonna hold in the middle, bring the bottom of the hoop to the top of your leg, and just press it down into those two small circles again. So that is how to fold and unfold your travel hoop. Thank you again so much for shopping with me, and happy hooping.